searching for God's will for me. And I want to say hello and thank you for tuning in for number 10, program 10 in our series on the amazing grace of God. And I hope that you're getting something out of it. And I am. (laughs) I encourage you to go back, listen to previous programs, and maybe even take notes and write down the scriptures and try to meditate. This is so important. This grace of God is really everything and our faith in the grace. So today, when wrapping it up, I thought, Lord, what would you want me to say uh, in a kind of a closing program? And it's kind of funny in a way because I'm closing, but what I want to read to you is Paul's greetings, how he would greet people. And if we look, let's start with Romans chapter 1, verse number 7. He says, To all who are in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and peace to you. To the ones who are called to be holy, the sa- either you're a saint or an ain't. You know, either you're in Christ or you're not. And it's because of the grace that you're in Christ. So he says, grace to you. So that's what I'm saying to you in this one, grace to you. Now he says it in the other uh, epistles, and, yeah, and sometimes he'll say, like, grace and peace and mercy be multiplied unto you. I love that one. Sometimes I'll be praising God. (laughs) I don't know. I I like every part of Scripture. Everything I'll say, please multiply grace, mercy, and peace to me. (laughs) And I just feel like something triggers inside of me. And and it happens because this is his will. He said to those who are called saints, the ones who are holy, the beloved of God, the ones who are walking in the word, the ones who are carrying out the purpose of the Father, grace to you. Grace. What is so then? What does that mean? Divine favor to you. That that God would continue to favor you. That that sometimes you'll feel like you're the favorite child, and but that's all right because He's got a lot of favorite children. But that this grace would be given unto you, this divine favor. Now, when you walk through life, I want to encourage you to say grace to a situation, or you could even say grace to me, <laughs> or, or grace to your loved one, grace to your wife, grace to your children, grace to you, divine favor. Now, what am I really saying there? I am saying that there's a word, and my children, uh, because, you know, I've taught them and I'm teaching, some people will come up and say, why, why have your children turned out so well? <laughs> That's out in the grace of God. But I want to say this to you. There's a word in our family, and is letting you in on a little secret, family secret, and and we say, we call it fog. You know, when the fog is rolling in, and when we need some fog, we call upon the Lord. And the word fog in, in our family means the favor of God or grace, the divine favor of God. We call it the fog. And sometimes, you might think we're strange, but we are peculiar people. But I'm telling you, we have a wonderful life, and God answers our prayers. And maybe he's inspired us to, to help us understand this. So um, my son, I love, my son Frank, he really loves the Lord. And he'll say, he's at the end of the program, right? Doesn't he do a nice job? Anyways, he'll say, Dad, I need some fog. I need I need the fog to roll in, Dad. Or my daughter dealing with something at work is, oh, I need fog right now. You know, the favor of God. And I want to encourage you as my, my friends in the Lord. I want to encourage you to believe in the favor of God. Favor isn't fair, but favor is ours. And when I say grace to you, I'm like saying you know, the favor of God to you. In whatever your job situation, your family, your children, you are a success going someplace to happen. God is inside of you. This amazing grace is at work in your life, and it's working. And it wants to work itself out into every area of your life. And so for the favor of God to be like a, a, a misty cloud of it's like the glory cloud of God. It comes to us when they were worshiping in the temple and, and the glory got so much, the cloud, it was the favor of God. It was the grace of God that had rolled in. That cloud was the, the, the favor, the grace of God. The, I don't understand it all, but I know that it's real. And I want you to have favor. You have favor with God. What I really am saying is I want you to experience the grace of God because when you are touched by God, and you know that God has blessed you, and you've cooperated with God, and you've seen the hand of God, 
I want to tell you something. It builds a confidence within you that he will continue to answer prayer. And the Bible says that when you're confident in God and in the epistle of, of John, 1 John, you, say, God, you know God will answer your prayer. God wants you to be confident. And in Hebrews 10, he does not want you to throw away your confidence. You have to believe that you are favored of God. And people love when I preach this story and my daughter-in-law was telling me about it and and I, just, I remember this, and then someone else was telling me something, a very close friend, Joanna. She said, I love that part when you, and I, I want to share it with you because it's how the fog rolled into our family. But my daughter was going to uh, U of M, and she uh, was studying to be a chemical engineer, and uh, she was doing quite well. And uh, I did not want her to go live in Houston, and there were jobs out there for chemical engineers in the oil business, but I wanted her to be right here in the auto business because that's in Dearborn. That lives right by us, Ford. And so she said, Dad, there's one chemical engineer opening at Ford. <laughs> I said, it's yours. I want it for you. And, you know, she wanted it. And so we were in agreement. And my office was at Nine Mile in Southfield, and I lived in Allen Park, so I had to drive up Southfield. And I would pass the Ford Motor Company, the world headquarters, and I would look at that building, and I'd talk to that mountain. i say, if you hire one chemical engineer, I said, do you hear me? You, you speak to your mountain. I said, you're going to hire Angela Julian. Do you hear me? And she went through two days of interviews, and all these people were applying and everything. And at the end of three days, they call her in, and they say, we, we want to award you with the position, you know, as a chemical engineer. Well, a few months later, they were laying people off. And she called me up and she said, Dad, they're calling people in and tell them to fill the box and leave. And she said, what should I do? And I said, you walk around that room and you say, while others are being laid off, I will be promoted. And she said, okay. And so a couple hours later, I hadn't heard from her. So I called her. I said, how are you doing? She said, well, others are being laid off. I'm going to be promoted. I mean, she took it. Do you know that three weeks later, they called her, hush, 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 everything behind me. They said, we're giving you this promotion. Don't tell anybody because others have been laid off. It was like, you know, our hearts went like, wow, the fog rolled in, the favor of God. I want it for you. God did it for me. He'll keep doing it for me and doing it for you. Father, let the fog roll in into every listener's life. Let the cloud of glory rest upon them, the Shekinah glory, the, the favor. Give them favor, Father. Let them cooperate with the grace of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, I have loved this series. I, I, I love this. I love the grace of God. I hope you do too. Well, God bless you. Write me, frankjulian5 at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Tell a friend about the program, and bye for now. On behalf of Frank Julian Ministries, we want to say thank you so much for listening. We upload podcasts every Thursday on Roku, YouTube, and audio podcasts. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. If you need prayers or are seeking a prayer community, we're here for you. Come join us on our Facebook page, Love, Prayers, and Healing Podcast with Pastor Frank. See you next week.